So we are now inside of AlphaCam, and you can see that I have a simple 3 plus 2 5-axis machining project. I'm going to trigger the simulator, and you'll see that this, in turn, triggers the post-processor. Now, AlphaCam has always been able to generate compelling user interfaces for our posts. And this is one of the things that I want to bring up right now. You'll notice that the post writer has given me, the user, the ability to put a number here for the work plane safe cancel level. Let's see what happens when I post that. You will see that now the simulator is then configured and deployed, and we'll be able to take a look at exactly what is happening based on the different variables in the post. So when I run my simulation, you'll see that the tool approaches, goes down, and here we go. There is a collision that has been identified based on that safe rapid level. Basically, it's too little. Given the geometry and size of this head, I need to separate myself, I don't know, a couple of hundred millimeters so that I can clear the bottom of the head. So let's try that again. I'm going to close, and I'm going to send to the simulator, but this time I'm going to change my work plane cancellation level to say 200 millimeters. And I'm going to go ahead and just like before, the post processor will configure and deploy a simulator session and we'll be able to run it. So now you can see how the tool is going to approach and begin machining the different motions, the different operations. Now, we've always done exactly this, where the tool change cycle is not necessarily something that is included in the simulator. The tool simply is loaded onto the spindle and the additional machining moves forward.